Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I'm in my little work garage here and I wanted to kind of highlight a tool that I've been using for several years. And I want to start getting into some more advanced tools, more advanced paint correction. I also kind of want to open the door to some of the stuff that I do. I've been slowly doing it over the last couple of videos showing you aircraft that I do. I want to try to get you guys into, if I, if I can film, I do a lot of Learjet uh, aircraft detailing. It's a little bit difficult to do that in some of the larger airports that I work in because of FAA regulations. I have some high-end clients who actually you guys probably will know and I've actually talked to some of them and some of them are willing to get on video with me and kind of explain what they're looking for when they're looking for a detailer, whether it's they're detailing their large coaches, aircrafts, boats, I think it might be very helpful for some of you guys just starting out. I also want to show you some of my clients that I work for that I do limo detailing, limousine detailing. I have three clients that own, each client owns over five different limousines, big stretch limousines, black ones, white ones. In fact, over the next couple of weeks, I have a lot of my clients that I have to dial those limos in before we start getting into the cold uh, winter seasons here. Not that Dallas gets all that cold, but I'm going to bring you into some of the specialized detailing that I do on some pretty large objects. So maybe that will be fun for some of you. Uh, help you understand how I got these clients, how I maintain them, how I keep them. And hopefully some of them will be able to get on video and kind of tell you what they're looking for when they're looking for a professional detailer. So that might be helpful for some of you guys that are either in the business now or been doing it for a long time or just getting into it. I want to highlight the Griot's Boss system because in my opinion, I love my Rupes. I have a uh, Mark II 21 millimeter Bigfoot Rupes and I love it. I'm not really keen or in love with their compounds and polishes that they have. Some of their pads are okay. I'm really in love with what Griot's has been doing for the last couple of years, and I want to highlight it in this video. What I have here is the Griot's Boss um, DA, Dual Action Polisher. It's the large stroke, but it's the 15 millimeter. There's a personal preference for just about everybody. I like a 15 millimeter throw. I'll get into that in, in later videos, but I just wanted to highlight the tool, regardless if it's 15 millimeter or 21 millimeter. The highlights of the tool are pretty much the same, and it's one of the things I want to talk about in this video. What Griot's is doing, which I really love, is not only do you have a great machine that comes along with it, but they've got some pads. Their pads are not the greatest things in the pl on the planet. They're adequate, they'll get you going, they'll give you some really nice paint correction. There are better pads out there, but I like the system, so I want to include the pads in it with this video. What I do love, and you guys have heard me talk about this a lot, they have four different kind of compounds and polishes within their system, and every one of these four products, as far as their compounds and polishes are concerned, they're knockouts. They're really, really great. They're using submicron technology, really great lubricating oils within them that give us some really nice results, long working time, very low dusting, which is important to me as a mobile detailer. Sometimes I'm working in direct sunlight, so I'm looking for compounds and polishes that give me an advantage of not dusting so much. So if you notice here, Griot's has their finishing sealant. This is kind of like they're all in one. It's a finishing sealant, might be a little uh, deceiving, but this has the ability to remove light swirls and scratches plus lay protection down. Now on the bottle, what's so great about their system and really great for beginners as well, the finishing sealant, it's their boss system. It shows a little black pad, right? It shows a little black symbol of a pad. That's because their system has a black pad, so they want you to team up the black pad with their finishing sealant. That's pretty cool kind of takes the guesswork out of it if you're a beginner. Now, they also have their next step in aggressiveness is their perfecting cream. This is like a light polish. This is really nice, works well. A lot of lubrication under the pad, gives you long working time, and it finishes out exceptionally well. Leaves a lot of clarity, nice gloss and shine. With this particular perfecting cream, they show a little yellow pad on the, on the label. That's because you're going to use a yellow pad with it. For, for beginners, that's probably, again, a great way to kind of learn the system and use it with the pads that they wanted you to use it with. You should be, you should get some really nice, great, you should get some great results with it. 
The next one up is the correcting cream. This is probably, between the correcting cream and the fast correcting cream is probably my two favorite compounds within the group. This correcting cream is amazing. It gives you really, really nice, uh, I would say moderate defect removal. You remove swirls, holograms, fine scratches off the paint. Yet you won't necessarily have to finish with a polish with this. This is why we kind of call it a one-step correction. It has the ability to remove all those defects off the paint, but then it leaves a tremendous amount of shining gloss where you don't have to finish up with a polish. Now on this one here, it shows a little orange pad. That kind of tells you that the orange pad is the pad with the Griot system that you match it up with. Kind of cool. You can't really screw it up. It's awesome. This takes the learning curve for beginners and straightens it out quite a bit where you get some really, really nice results. Now the fast correcting cream, which happens to be one of my favorite compounds for deep defect removal. It's fast correcting cream by Griot's. I like Menzerna FG400 and I also like Jeskar Heavy Cut and I'll get into those in another video but I want to focus on Griot's. Their fast correcting cream is phenomenal. There are certain paints, not all paints, that you can actually go after deep defects and you don't have to finish up with a polish. It's a little rare but it can happen. That's what's so great about Griot's fast correcting cream that it can begin to finish out so well that going over it with a fine polish is really sometimes insignificant or if you do have to go over with a finished polish after using this this compound you're not going to be on the panel that long with a finished polish really really great long working times a lot of lubrication underneath the pad it's great I love it very low dusting which is really crucial with a heavy cut compound now this particular system they want you to use a white pad I'm sorry I've never bought the white pads with it I typically use this with an orange medium cut cutting pad or I'll use it with a microfiber pad and I don't necessarily like Griot's microfiber pads. I use Meguiar's but again their, their compound, the fast correcting cream is phenomenal. You can't go wrong with this stuff. But as far as the tool is concerned, which is the big focus of the, the video, the Boss tool, this happens to be the G15. I'll talk about the G21 in another video. But it's a 15 millimeter throw. Basically, they're small little Griot's dual action polisher, the six inch, I think that's eight millimeter throw. So it's almost twice the throw, which is gonna give you, if we do the math, it's like 87% or 85% more correction in the period of time that you would use the six inch um, dual action polisher by Grio. So you're gonna cut your paint correction down in half, which is really nice. What's great about this machine, they say it weighs about five pounds. I want to say they're a little off there, but maybe it is. I've never weighed it. It feels a little heavier than that, but it's it, it's really comfortable. I love this. I think his name is Jeff Brown with, um, with Griot's. He talks about, he calls it the platypus head. This head on the top of this long throw polisher is really nice. It's very soft, very comfortable, got a nice rubber grip to it. I like it when you're doing long paint corrections on a very large vehicle, it's very comfortable on the hand. The speed dial is right here by your thumb, which is great. And what's really nice with it, it's audible. You can hear it when you click it from one to two or one to one and a half to two. Let me see if I can catch it on the, on the camera. Can you guys hear that? That's kind of nice. So you know where you are with one, then you click to one and a half, then you click to two, you can hear it. It's audible to you when you can feel it under your finger. There are some other polishers, I'm not going to beat them up because I like them and I'll talk about them in the future, where they're awfully uh, finicky. They just slide. You don't really know where you're at unless you're looking at the dial and you want to see what the number's at. It's not a big deal, but I just kind of bring it out there because I like the speed dial. The other thing is it's got a nice lock button on the side. Is If you're right-handed, which is... Which is kind of interesting. I think they should make a left-handed version of this because if you're left-handed, the lock button's going to be on the wrong side for you because if you're right-handed, the lock button's right here for my thumb. If you're left-handed, it'd be nice if they had a button on this side. I'm thinking about you left-handed guys that would hold the bottom of the polisher, the trigger part of the polisher with your left hand. Then the, then the, um, the lock button for the trigger is going to be in an odd place for you left-handed people. But um, overall, it's still a great design. feels great. I love the fact that, you know, if you're working on a panel, if you're working on a panel and say this was vertical and it was standing up like this and you got your one hand up here by the platypus head, you can, you can hold the body 
of the polisher once you've got the trigger in lock and it's got some nice rubber grips on it to make that comfortable for you during the process of doing some paint correction really nice design there as well it stays relatively cool when you run it this versus the Rupes, this is a little bit, I want to say this just slightly a little bit more vibration with this than the Rupes. It's also maybe a tad bit heavier than the Rupes, but one of the things that Griot's does really, really well with their long throws, this has more power, meaning it's got more torque, it's got more power. It doesn't want to stall on you when you come across body curves as much as the Rupes. Doesn't mean the Rupes doesn't have a place. It's a fine machine. But in my opinion, the Griot's has just got more, I hate to use the word, it's got more balls. It's got more, it's more of a workhorse in my opinion, and that's why I love it. And again, the trigger's on the bottom, really nice to work with. One of the things that's great about the trigger, let's say you had it on speed four or five and you're doing some paint correction and you come off the panel and you want to add more product to your pad before you go to your next two by two area. What's really nice about Griot's is they gave you a ver variable speed trigger. So even though it's on speed five, it's not like I squeeze this thing and it instantly goes to the the maximum level of speed five, I can control it with the trigger, watch. I can run it slow and I can feather it if I want to, and then I can squeeze it and have full force and it'd be on setting five. That's kind of nice because I never have to hit the speed dial if I want to keep it on speed five. Where some of the other machines you're going to have to lower it down if you want to spread your product out and then start your next two by two areas. So that's kind of a nice feature with Griot's. I'll kind of show you this in action. We'll have a little bit of fun with it. I'll use, eh, let's not get crazy here. I've used this panel so many times. I wonder how much clear coat I got left. I've wet sanded it. I've done so many things with this. I'm gonna use Griot's finishing sealant, right? I'll mix this stuff up, make sure we've got it nice and uh, mixed up. I'll take the black pad that goes with the finishing sealant and I'll put it on the Griot's G15. Make sure I got that pad centered, which I don't. Come on, Scott, let's go. Oh man, sometimes these pads can be a little finicky when you're trying to get them to line up. Okay, there we go. So I've got it on the I've got it on the machine for me. It's real nice. It's a low profile pad. I'll get into that another time, but don't overthink it. It's a nice pad for for, for beginners to learn the machine and learn the system and the polishes that come with it. So I'll apply a little bit of the finishing sealant to the to the pad. I just bought about six more bottles of this stuff. I gotta gotta get it in my uh, in my arsenal here. Okay, so I've got some product on there. Now, typically, what you would want to do, you know, sometimes you want to spread the pro product out. That's kind of nice, right? That kind of helps you out. But the fact on a finishing sealant like this, you guys will kind of learn this as you go with these machines. I'd l I'd run this finishing sealant on speed four if I'm trying to remove. <coughs> excuse me swirls and scratches off the paint but I'm gonna leave the dial on four because that's where I want to be through my process but I'm gonna feather the trigger use the fact that it's got var variable speed to kind of spread out my product so that's kind of nice I can spread out the product right now I'm gonna go in there and work it at speed four do my, cr my cross hatch pattern, but this machine is incredibly smooth. There's not a lot of vibration to it. I will say there's a little bit more vibration than the Rupes machine, but this thing's got a little bit more, man, I hate the word, it's got a little bit more balls, and I like that because it's a workhorse for me.
like it. It's really nice and smooth, very comfortable to work with. I think you guys will like it. I'll go in and kind of pick up that product. The, the finishing sealant by Griot's is good. It's relatively easy to kind of wipe off the panel. It's not as great as HD Speed, but it will pull more defects off the paint with, than HD Speed. But the finishing sealant by Griot's kind of misses the mark if you're working on a hot panel. It's not the best product for that, but it's, it's still a phenomenal product. But this machine, the G15, as far as I'm concerned, is really, really nice because one of the things that you'll learn when you start working with these large throw polishers is that a 21 millimeter throw is nice, but I find with a G15 with a 5 inch backing plate, I can actually use speed setting 6. On the G21 or the Rupes Mark II long throw 21 millimeter that I have, if I try to run it on speed six and I'm working on clear coats that are relatively hard like BMW and Mercedes where I want that extra power, I find the 21 millimeter throw on speed six and trying to go after some deep defects can sometimes cause a lot of stress on the pad. The, Vel the Velcro backing area will start to come apart. It's a little bit too much of a throw at that high speed. So I tend to like the G15 because it's not such a big throw and I can use speed six and go after some of those deep defects on hard clear coats where I want speed in the moment and it's not so difficult or so stressful on the pad. Just a side note there. But I think overall this machine, the system itself with all the pads, all the compounds, the polishes, and the machine, you can't go wrong. They're not the cheapest thing in the world. I don't remember what this thing costs, to be honest with you. Is it under 400 I don't know. I don't remember. You'll have to look it up. But with the pads, the compounds and polishes, and the fact that they have pads that are designated for each polish, the long throw polisher will be great for you. Very comfortable in the hands, very smooth running. I love it, just wanted to share it with you. It also comes with, when you get this thing, if you guys are familiar with these spacer mods that Rupes, a lot of guys with Rupes wanted to put a, 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 a mod spacer inside of it so that the backing plate wasn't so close to the shroud to kind of give you a little bit more power and torque so it was a little bit more free speed, uh, spinning. Griot's gives you some what they call the uh, spacer mods if you want to use them. And I, I put one in here. They come with two of them. I only use one. It seems to be fine. It gets it away from the shroud and gives me a little bit more power without the shroud slowing down the backing plate. But overall, well, well built machine, really comfortable, nice. I think it's great, plus all the polishes and the pads. It's a great way for a beginner who wants to kind of step up his game and kind of learn the long throw systems, but then have a lot of support behind you with a lot of the guessing work being taken out of the uh, equation. The pads will go with the compounds and polishes. You'll learn the system very quick, and then you'll start tweaking the moment. Maybe you want to use different pads with these compounds and polishes. That's fine. Nobody says you have to stay within the system. Griot, Griot certainly has designed the system for those pads and polishes, but you, I play, the, trust me, I don't use these pads very often. I use a lot of different pads with my machines for different reasons, different results, different, different um, expectations that I'm looking for. But the Griot's Boss system, you can't go wrong with it. Just wanted to share it with you. The pads, the compounds are phenomenal. It comes with, a, I don't remember where the chart was, it comes with a chart that kind of shows you more aggressive, less aggressive, how you can match up these pads and compounds and what speed you want to put the machine on, which is really nice for, for beginners to kind of have a nice foundation for them when they step into using these type of tools. Griot's really goes over the top to kind of get car enthusiasts, car enthusiasts and beginners into using these types of machines. These machines aren't that scary. They're going to give you better correction in a short amount of time versus the dual action polisher by Harbor Freight or the dual action six inch orbital from Griot's themselves. These machines are great. They have their pros, they have their cons, but you can't go wrong with the Boss system. I think it's one of the best systems out there when it, when it comes to the long throws that are out there on the market. I love you all, just wanted to share that with you. Sorry it's a 19 minute video, but a lot of stuff to know. If you guys have any questions about the machine, send me a message, I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. I can tell you for under $400, whether it's the G15 or the G21, 
you, your, your money's going to be well spent. If you're looking at the Rupes, that's fine. The Rupes is a little lighter, got a little bit less vibration. I just find, even with the Mark II and the, and the 21 millimeter I have, I get more power out of the Griots. That's just my personal opinion. The, the Griots, the Griots uh, boss machine, the, the, the long throws, are, in my opinion, are a little bit more... They're a little bit better on hard clear coats because I can really ramp up the speed and they don't stall as much on me. I just feel like give, they give me more power when I need it. But the Rupes machine is beautiful. I'm going to show you in the future the Rupes machines, the polishes, the compounds, and all that stuff that comes with it. And then you guys can kind of make a choice. But the Griot system, you cannot go wrong. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.